Hi everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back. I'm from TechnoHow, and today we're going to be covering the Microsoft Management Console, also known as the MMC Snap-in. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure one, and then I'll show you one that I have configured already. So I always hit the Window plus R button, type in MMC, and hit Enter. It's going to ask you for a user account control. Hit Yes. All right. Pretty blank window. You're going to have a navigation pane, or yep, navigation pane, view pane, and actions pane. So we're going to start out by going File, Add and Remove Snap In. And here you can actually choose, like Computer Management, we'll add that. We're going to want it for the local computer unless you have permissions set up to add it to another computer. Then we're going to add Event Viewer. And this is going to be for the local computer. And I'm going to show you guys what happens if you try to load like local users and groups onto a computer that is Windows Home and not Windows Pro. Um, it will not allow you to do that. That's a Pro Edition uh, feature. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it does. So yep, there it is. We get a message to snap in. May not be used with this edition of Windows 10. To manage user accounts for this computer, use the user accounts tool in the control panel. So we'll go ahead and cancel all that and we'll pick something else to add here. We'll go ahead and add services for the local computer once again. Click OK. And here you go. All your tools that you want to use right in a centralized location, it's very handy. So like system tools, event viewer, grab all that. You can go in here, go down, go into application, events. And you can go into services, and it'll bring up all your services. So that's pretty much how you configure it. And let's see here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the one that I have configured already, so we're not going to save this one. And I just named it Tools 1. It's my set of tools I frequently use. Just give it a minute to load here. And here we go. I have computer management loaded up. Uh, disk management, I can manage disk within here. I can always extend, reduce, resize. Um, some of my logical volumes like data one, data zero one that I have right here. Uh, device manager is nice and handy to have out if you want to troubleshoot any driver issues or compatibility issues with hardware. And then of course your event viewer is loaded right in here. And I have my performance and test scheduler because I do use it with some scripting. So that is about all we have for the Microsoft Management Console. Once again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please place them below. If you want to see me work on anything specific within Windows 10, Windows 7, 8.8.1, or Linux, or a server, please let me know, and I'll get into it. I'm going to be kind of going through some basic stuff. I will be getting into server, Active Directory, Domain Services, uh, DHCP, DNS, uh, Federated Services, Exchange Server, and different things like that. I will also be covering some off topics of IAM, also known as Identity and Access Management, and some other security topics. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.